Welcome back. Welcome back. back. Mike uh, Parkinson and Carla Axel are here with the Crooked Creek, Crooked Creek Conservation. And you brought a special something with you, but, and it, his name is Mike. No. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Ann. <laughs> Go ahead, Micah. <laughs> tell us about, first of all, tell us what the Crooked Creek Conservation is. Every district, every county in the state of Arkansas has a conservation district. There's mm -hmm. seven three counties, seven three districts. And I work in Yellville, which is Crooked Creek Conservation. And uh, we kind of want our own because most conservation districts are in uh, federal buildings and with NRCS. Mm -hmm. But our NRCS is in Mountain Home, so we're just Carla and I in our office here. And we have to f make so much of our money. Everybody thinks, well, you got a government job, you don't, you know. But we have to earn so much of our right. money to mat for match money. And that's why we do different things. We sell seed and we have equipment that we rent out and stuff like that. But what we've come to talk about today, uh, once a year we have a pasture conference and we have it next week at the um, Yellville Summit School and we have a supper and everything for it. And uh, we'd like to invite people in Boone County and Marion County and, and Baxter County to come uh, to this thing. To our what, what, what can people expect if they come? The guys uh, that are coming is Ron Morrow. He's out of Little Rock. He's going to come talk about different uh, projects uh, like pa uh, pasture rotation. We're going to have a, that afternoon. We're going to have our first annual pasture walk, and it sounds kind of goofy, but we're but going out to it? we're going out to a guy's farm, and he's got about three or four hundred goats, and uh -huh. he's got he rotates the goats to eat the brush, and he runs about five hundred mama cows. So the goats and the cattle work together to eat the different things. So we're going to go out there, and Ron Morrow is going to go, and he's going to help us like uh, talk about rotation grazing, where you run cattle for a week on this pasture mm -hmm. and you run them in the different grasses you can get. And we got Shane Nickel, uh, Shane Wilson's coming out of uh, Rogers. Uh, chemicals are bad, you know, for like oaks, and you know we're getting a lot of brush and stuff. And he works for a chemical company, and he's going to come and. Uh, on this pasture walk, he's going to come and talk about, okay, here's an oak, and you need to spray that with this chemical here yeah, to, to control to and stuff like that, and green briars and stuff like that. So he's going to come talk about that talk about that, that day, and we're going to have mm -hmm. that from 1 to 3 at uh, Dwayne Hawkins Farm south of town. He's volunteered to have that for us. Mm -hmm. And so then that night we'll go there, and hopefully we'll have around 70, 80 people come for supper, and uh, the school furnishes will have roast beef, mashed potatoes, green beans, and everything like that. And then we'll have about a two-hour program. So that's okay. our way to thank the farmers in Marion County, our appreciation for them for letting us help them. You bet. We can give them mm -hmm. supper and give them a free program to help them with their brush management, different mm -hmm. projects like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So. And we have a lot of Boone County customers too. Okay. Um, is yeah. there, what is the cost for? It's free. It's all it's free. free. Wow. That's free. Mm -hmm. It's all free. Even the food? Yeah. 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 Wow. Well, heck, we, I'll we, be there. We, okay. we pay. <laughs> free food? No. We pay for it and everything. Really? And usually we'll have roast beef, mashed potatoes, and have, have, have a salad some bar, more. green beans, and then the cooks make uh, some, some kind of a homemade yeah, cobbler. Some kind of cobbler and ice cream. Mm -hmm. So obviously it costs you, you know, to do these things. I mean, you're putting on a free dinner, right. but mm -hmm. you have to have a way to make money and mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. thinking that might be where this little birdhouse comes in. Yeah, we we uh, we sell bluebird boxes that are made out of cypress. I guess you can see that. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And um, this, is, up, this is part of the funding and uh, we started this to help with bluebird conservation. Um, Carla's really big in conservation. Yeah, I'm really big into, oh. into oh, and they, they open yeah. so you can clean them out and uh, and then we, all, when we sell a bluebird box, we give out information from the Bluebird Society about where to place them, how to place them, and uh, how far apart. Because we have some people that will buy uh, five or six. I mean, and and stuff. there is something they, to that. I mean, oh, there you, really is. One guy and the Boone County bought twenty of that. Yes. One day from yeah. Wow. That's good. And they yeah. they do eat a lot of bugs, and so they're they'll ha they'll help in your garden. But you don't you want know. to put bird feed out because they'll they'll take over. Well, bluebirds don't eat the bird feed that you put out because bluebirds don't eat seeds. They eat primarily insects, and okay. then when the weather is bad, they will eat. Well, they sure eat. do make a mess out there. They run all the other birds off. <laughs> blue, blue, you're talking about blue, blue jays. Blue jays yeah. You're thinking yeah, about blue jays. Blue that's the Charlie yes. Sheen of the bird industry right, right there. Yes, the blue jays. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! <laughs> yeah, the blue, the blue jays. Yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Bluebirds are cute. Yeah, oh, yeah. bluebirds are not okay. are nice little birds, yeah. They're How like much? they sell for they sell for ten dollars each. Okay. And the thing about it, I live here in Harrison, so I 
can bring. And he delivers over here. And we sell a lot of seed, pasture seeds and stuff, so mm -hmm. we deliver. I deliver here, so. Yeah. I'm thinking okay. I might have to get on the list for one of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. and then we do another thing in the spring. We sell native shrubs. Mm -hmm. And uh, this year we're offering a uh, shrub which is a silky dogwood, and a Washington hawthorn which is can be a shrub or a tree, and then uh, a moly grass. We have two different colors, pink or white, in those, and they sell for five dollars each, and. They, uh, the reason we sell native shrubs is to help the environment, and they most of the plants we sell will help wildlife. Okay, also. when you mm -hmm. say native shrub, what do you? Something that will, is a native to to our country okay. or to Arkansas. That's now, not been and, imported and, from other. It has not been imported for another from another country. Okay. The yes. dogwoods were could be shrub or tree. I guess well, this I is a different type tree. of a dogwood. This is okay. a silky dogwood. They have which the same is an, kind of bloom. Or? No, they okay. don't have the same. They have more of a of a cluster bloom, and it is. Um, and then they produce a blueberry in the fall that the birds like to eat. Hmm. And like the hawthorn tree, mm -hmm. it can produce, it produces red berries that birds like. And then of course, different birds like to eat the grasses, are you know, pretty, the mullet uh, grass, yeah. Are they pretty hardy and self -sufficient? Yes, they are, yeah. That's, that's what I need. See, that's why we, I kill that's why we go native. That's why we go native, native. they're hardier. Because they're hardy to our They're hardy to, they're hardy to You have to write me down for one of those too. And our souls and stuff, so yeah. they're good for our souls. You gonna plant yeah. it for me, Mike? Sure. I'll <laughs> <laughs> are there things in this area that we have too much of? As far as plants? Plants you know? or or animals, insects, or? Well, there's, that's I know debatable. we got plenty of ticks. Yeah, yeah we have that, plenty right? of ticks, and some people say we have plenty of chiggers. <laughs> yeah, that's plenty of that, yeah. yeah. And, See, you know, and 50 years ago, like when Ann and I were young, we had lots of quail. Thanks, yes. Mike. In yeah. this country. Well, right. if you right. look at, if you look around, no, we everybody's, don't anymore. everybody's cleaned their fence rows up, and everybody's yes. planted fescue. And back then, yeah. we had sage grass. We didn't have fertilizer like we have now, mm -hmm. so everybody fertilizes now. And uh, back then, you know, we had the places for the quail because quail have to have they have to they be have able to, to run through the grass. Right. Yeah. Where right. fescues is a solid grass. When we had can't go through loose them stuff, they had run where the okay. boat, where the hawks and stuff couldn't find them. So, is there a push to bring they, that back? A lot, places. Of places. a lot of places and there's, there's a push. Yeah. Yes. And there's a lot of yeah. government programs that can help you do these yes. programs yeah. too yeah. that yeah. we can help people with and stuff. So you're a good reference to right. help people. We try to right. be, yes. See in Yaleville you have to drive to Mountain Home to if you want to sign up on programs. So the DC over there, the head of that office, he kind of lets us have the run. So people come in our office and stay, have them drive all the way to Mountain Home and sign their name to right. something. Right. They come to our office and... Uh, and can sign up mm -hmm. pro, for mm -hmm. programs. So if someone's mm -hmm. driving through Yaleville mm -hmm. yes. on the way there, how do they get there? You get to the square and take mm -hmm. the first left on the right uh, one-way street and go down two blocks for okay. a white block building. Okay. And we we'll just, you know, and like well, the they supper. Well, I can call you. Oh, you yeah. can call us. Yeah. yeah. At? 449-6356. <clears throat> okay. And I'm there at seven. We're usually there from seven to four, or seven okay. to five. Every day, you know. Monday through Friday. Uh -huh. Monday through now, Friday. Are these yeah. bluebird houses? Are they available all throughout the year? Yes, sir. Yes. So you can get them anytime. Yes, yes sir. And yeah. you get. Well, we just like to. And we have we keep them in stock at the mm -hmm. office. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. do, you, do you have like little like instructions them. on how to mount it on a yes. post or whatever? Yes. yes, we do. Yeah, we do. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, her They're husband, not going to let right. you fail. No. Right. Well, that's great. We try not to. No. That's part of their job. Yeah. And we sell a lot of them. We'll sell what. 50, 60, 80 a year probably yeah. through the years. Sometimes you know. we sell and over 100. Yeah. You need to be buying these now because aren't the, actually, the bluebirds, the bluebirds are looking for nesting spots okay. right now. Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. So get your bluebird house now. Yeah. Yeah. And the importance of cypress is you don't have to treat it or anything. You don't have to treat okay. it. You, it's waterproof. You don't, mm -hmm. And, it's, or, and uh, some mm -hmm. people lo do like to paint their houses, but these yeah. do not have mm -hmm. to be painted. It. Mm -hmm. And it has a very long life expectancy so that mm -hmm. you're not having to replace it mm -hmm. all the time. Okay. Great. But we have a lot yeah. of people coming every year and doing them and stuff. Yeah. So I just like to get the word out that we got stuff like that and we're not just a little county. Right. Yokers. And the pasture conference, you gotta you gotta remember they're having the pasture conference. Yeah, we're having the pasture yes. conference um, and it'll start at six o'clock next Thursday night at the Yaleville Summit School. And what's five. the actual date? Uh, March tenth. March tenth. March uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. And we'd like to invite anybody that wants to come. There's no charge, just We'd Come like to, and be yeah, we'd informational. Like to, yeah, and, and hopefully yeah. we'll have something we can announce. And I bet you program. can sell those right there, too. We we'll do try enough. to take a few. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So. All right. Mike, Carla, thanks for being here. Thank I appreciate you. it. Hope we get the word out much. for you. Okay, Thank thanks. You. All right. All right. Up next, Nate Wilson and Jessica Reese are here to talk about an event that's coming up for the Kiwanis. Stay with us.